a world where hurdles often defines destinies. Meet Michael Fifi Darkon Abrokwa, a 23-year-old pencil artist defying the odds of living with radial club hand. Despite facing challenges from birth, including a shunt surgery for macrocephaly and societal ignorance towards people living with disabilities, Michael pursued his passion for art. Encouraged by his family, he honed his skills. Now, Michael creates stunning pencil and digital art and dreams of expanding into life sketching, face painting, and sculpture. This is Michael's story, a testament to the power of passion and the unwavering pursuit of dreams. This is Define the Odds. I journeyed one Saturday to Amasaman, a small town located in the greater Accra region of Ghana. It took close to 70 minutes to get to the location where I met Michael, who was more than happy to lead me to his home. There, I was granted the opportunity of meeting his family, spend time with them, and observe Michael paint. In a conversation with his mother, Mrs. Christiana Aqua revealed the circumstances that led to Michael's deformity. I gave birth to Michael at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital when he reached seven months of conception. Hence, at the time, there were shortages of incubators. Hence, Michael had to share an incubator with another newborn baby. After three months, the hospital released Michael and I took him home. Six to seven months after I brought him home, I noticed that Michael still had his fist clenched. It didn't bother me at first, but after seven months, I realized his fist was still clenched tightly, so I decided to slowly massage his arms with aims of unclenching his fist. I took him to the hospital to undergo a shunt surgery due to the size of his hand, but there were no treatments for his hand. <laughs> His sister, Mrs. Linda Yeboah, also had this to say. When mom brought Michael home from the hospital, I was quite surprised. He didn't look like an ordinary baby. The size of his head was unusual, but we all accepted him as our brother regardless. As time passed, I felt sad. I didn't understand why my brother should live with this condition. My father sad because we not, we are not, we live with for the rest of our life. Mrs. Yeboah continued to describe what it was like to live with baby Michael. Michael's physical growth was slow. At age three, he still couldn't walk on his own. It took a collective effort from the entire family to get Michael on his feet. Regardless, Michael still had his childlike playfulness. When asked how Michael fared in society, this is what Mrs. Yeboah had to say. Other kids, none other kids because of The children in our community were afraid of him, hence Michael was always isolated. He felt uncomfortable everywhere, except when he was with us or at church. He participates actively in church activities and does everything diligently like he doesn't have any disabilities. <laughs> In the midst of these challenges, Mrs. Aqua noticed her son's passion for art. 
I realized he had the talent for art when he was younger. He would make objects from clay, which I thought was a nuisance because I had to clean him up after. But when I paid keen attention to it, I knew I had to support him so he could nurture his talent. I got him a private tutor when he was at Apostle Safu School of Arts and Science, a senior high school located in Accra. I got him all the necessary tools to get him started. After completing senior high school, Michael told me he would want to pursue a diploma course at IPMC, so I supported his decision. <laughs> Michael also describes his journey to nurturing his passion for art. When I decided to pursue arts as a profession, discouragement greeted me at the door. I was stuck in a loop of comparison. I compared my sketches with that of my classmates in school. The results of my arts were disheartening compared to theirs. The more I tried, the greater the discouragement. That led me to thoughts of quitting. My family, together with a colleague from school, advised me otherwise. My colleague told me that no one gets a perfect start, but excellence is developed through constant practice. I took his advice and stayed on course. I challenged myself to push through the discouragement and I successfully completed senior high school. After senior high school, Michael attended IPMC. There, he ventured into digital arts. I heard IPMC was offering a course on graphic design and I was interested. They introduced me to the world of digital arts, one I never thought of. They started me off with designing logos and posters using Photoshop, then worked on our way to digital painting. After completing IPMC, my older sister, together with my mom, introduced me to my current boss, who I'm privileged to apprentice under. I took a keen interest in seeing how Michael fares at his workplace. So, I got to Achimota Mall as early as 7.30 a.m. To my surprise, Michael had already reported to work. In a sit-down conversation with his boss, Mr. Samuel Barton had this to say. I was introduced to Michael by his mother who told me of his child's natural talent for arts. I agreed to take him under my wing as my apprentice. It's been two years and Michael has shown a tremendous amount of dedication to his work. Due to the distance from his home to his place, I told him it was okay to report to work at 9 or 10 a.m. But Michael reported to work at 7.30 a.m. Get this place ready to receive customers. He has done so well over the past couple of years and has a keen interest in venturing fully into digital space. What is next for Michael? Well, five years time, you can say it can. In the next five years, I would want to be a business owner, owning my own art gallery where I can showcase my works, the pencil and digital arts. As part of owning this business, I will mentor others who also want to pursue arts. For now, I am building myself and getting ready to showcase my arts, not just in Ghana but internationally. To everyone watching, I would want to leave this message. If you have set your heart to doing something, do it regardless of how discouraged you get in the beginning.
story yetu Skiza story ni kwambie Story yangu story yetu Skiza story ni kwambie Skiza story yangu story yetu 